What's up, YouTube? I'm Vern. I'm Hunter. Welcome to another edition of Pokeboy Production Channel. So we got another big ass box here today to unbox. You ready, Hunter? Yeah, I am ready. All right, keep watching. All right, Hunter, do you know what this is? You can uh, probably... Replicate <laughs> amusement. It's a mini arcade, I guess. Yeah. So if Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer. Yeah. So we did the unboxing of this. When was that? Maybe last year, right? Yeah. Street Fighter Edition. Yes, that was from his brother's house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, New Wave Toys makes all these really cool arcades. This is a Kickstarter product, actually. Oh, and really? I, yeah, I oh. saw it and they're like, I, I actually received this a few weeks ago. Oh, nice. So we just decided to try to unbox it today and play with it a little bit. So mm -hmm. to show you what's inside. You ready, Hunter? Definitely. Alrighty. Dragon Slayer. Is this the, the, the cartoon arcade one? Yep. Oh, man. I had I like back in the day. Yeah, I, I love that. I was just having a hard time because when you have to press left or right diagonal, I'm like, yo, I pressed it, I pressed it, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't go. So I would die like instantly. Yeah, so it was so hard back in the day. Like, yeah. You really had to be on point. Like you really needed to click right or left quickly. Yeah. Otherwise, you have to start over and that sucked. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I love that game though. It was so fun. It is. And it was the first cartoon game, arcade, I think. Yeah. Don Blue. Yep. If you thought, it's like playing uh, real life. Simpsons or you know mm -hmm. all those other cartoons. Really but that cool. was like literally like cartoon arcade game. Yeah, yeah so. uh, that's was pretty cool. All right, so uh, oh, pull it out. Uh, hold the box. It looks like it's one of those tight, tight, tight fit. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, keep this open. Okay, there. You go. Here we go. So it's, yep, here it is. You probably could tell what's inside already. Dragon Slayer. I think you need to. Uh, yeah, you can just. I think so? Uh, okay. I don't want to rip the box or anything like that. Let's see! It looks like it's, it's just there, a pull yeah, out. Yeah, it's a pull out, yeah. The thing about these type of boxes I, I don't like because the edges of these type of boxes is like sharp. Yeah. And it could easily. Oh, there's a sticky, sticky. Yeah, there's a sticky in here. You can rip the box. Yeah. There you go. Alright, so Henry is unboxing for us today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, here it is. Dun, da, da, da. Uh, whoosh! There it is. Nice! So, you're familiar? It's another box. <laughs> box within the box, within the box. So, this is Dragon Slayer. Bring home the scale arcade action. Yeah, this is the actual arcade machine. <coughs> um, this is pretty unique as well because I think the cartoon ran in a mini disc player back in the day, like a CD player. Oh, did it? I didn't know that. Yeah, so it was hard to replicate, like, you know, hard to recreate the cartoon if they were to... I think it was like hand-drawn and everything ran on a CD. Oh, okay. Or a giant-ass CD. Oh, yeah, it says here, a bonus replica laser disc player. There you go, laser disc. Wow, laser disc? <laughs> yeah. Talk about 1980s. Yeah, so... I guess it was hard to program it back in the day, mm -hmm. like a regular arcade. Yep. They wanted to make it as full on cartoony as possible. Yeah. I always wondered how the whole cartoon, you know, graphics came out, right? Not just the graphics, but like the whole storyline. I always wanted to go far because uh, I like the cartoon so much. I'm like, you know, I wonder how the cartoon is like, like the whole story without having to play. It. <laughs> so. I think there was also. Um, a cartoon series a few years later, if I, oh, really? I did my research. So that I did not know. Yeah, so maybe you could I'll show you guys what it looks like but. Same way. <laughs> Side openings. Ooh. Look at that artwork. I'll show you the artwork. Yeah. I had a crush on this little chicky over here. <laughs> I was like, ooh, she's cute. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Cords. It's probably your uh, power bank. Yep. Yep. Oh, I get a free keychain. Look at that. Oh, that's hot. 
insert quarters, 50 cents clip. And here it is. And da da da. Oh, you gotta take out the plastic to make it. You know, so you could, you guys can see more of the actual arcade. So give me a second here. Or run to you on plastic bag. Sure can. It's like a kid in a candy store when you open these things. Yep. Yeah, I always love this, uh, this video game. So here it is. Ooh. Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, right? Definitely. So just like the Street Fighter machine, I'll leave the link somewhere. It looks like an authentic arcade machine. You got the, the graphics in the, the sides of Dragon Slayer. Um, you got the mini buttons. <laughs> mini okay. joystick. Um, yeah, so this is the complete Dragon Slayer. Was there anything else in the box? That's it. Uh, didn't seem like there was anything. Yeah, nothing else. Okay. Where, where's that uh, bonus replica laser disc player? Maybe it's in here. It's in the back. No, you're probably in here. Yep, looks like it's. Yep, there it is. <laughs> so it is in the back, right here. It's a little slot. You just pop it open. Here it is, Henry. Look at that. Wow. I remember when I, my dad used to have a, a, a full-fledged uh, laser disc player. Those discs were huge. Gigantic, right? Yeah. And it's pretty cool. They give you, you know, a replica laser disc. Nice. This disc that really actually plays on this thing? I don't know how it works. <laughs> it even comes with a little remote. <laughs> Very nice, <laughs> very nice. And there's a place here in the top. There's a place here in the top to place to place this little remote on top, so you don't lose it. Lose it. But I mean, you can lose it, but at least it doesn't slide all over the place. It's indented, so that it'll be in place. Yeah. So I like this one too. The the fifty cent slot for your arcade machine. Oh snap! This it's is a keychain. Nice. Yeah. Well, this is battery operated because there's a little pull here for the the battery. The diesel so it probably lights up for the cell batteries. Yeah, it probably lights up, and then when you press the button, you be like, -ling, 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 -ling. <laughs> that's cool. All right. So um, yeah, uh, like I said, I don't know if we need that CD to play anything. Maybe it's just for show. Well, let's go check that out. Yeah, open it. As you can see here, here's the little remote. I don't know if you could see it. <laughs> and let's see. Yep. I mean, no, there's no CD. There's no CD, but there is. You know, you could pop something. <laughs> in it's supposed to be a CD. I saw a CD in the box here. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, it looks like more for display purposes. Mm -hmm. It Definitely. will complete my arcade mini arcade set. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. So I, once again, I got this from Kickstarter. Um, I believe it is now on for sale. I'll leave the link down below if you guys are interested in this machine. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. Really authentic looking. Um, they always surprise me. I forget what they call it. So how much was this in the Kickstarter price? I believe it was... I gotta check it out. I'll leave the price somewhere. I believe it's below $100. Mm -hmm. But if I'm not 100% positive, I'll leave the, the, the price okay, here so you can see it. But yeah, this is the arcade machine. Yeah. looks pretty cool. Childhood memories has, you know, <laughs> back up. All right, so we're going to play a little bit, and then we'll be right back. All right, initial turn. Initial. Initial turn on. Let's see. I see power. Is it turning on? Yeah, it's power. Cool. Mm. Is the cord is lighting up? Yeah, it's, it's lit up right now. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And see the volume here. I don't know the volume is going up. It's max volume. Okay, maybe it's still loading. I like. I see yeah, numbers. I see numbers on top. There he goes. Dragon's Lair, a fantasy adventure where you become a dragon knight and quest to rescue the fair princess from the. Wow, that's awesome. Childhood memories right here. <laughs> You control the actions of a daring adventurer finding his way through the castle of a dark wizard who has incited the treacherous monsters and obstacles. This is so awesome, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> Childhood memories. Your odyssey continues against the awesome forces that oppose your efforts to reach the dragon's tail. <laughs> Lead on, adventurer. That's awesome. It's like... Just like the arcade. <laughs> it's like two coins, Henry. Okay. <laughs> I believe you have to press this, right? Uh, and said coins. There, there you is. go. Yeah, the the lives comes in and credits comes in. Oh, that's the that's what the numbers are for. I'm gonna go five lives. Right. I forgot how to play. <laughs> 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 there goes my life. Oh, shit. He's supposed to go right. Yeah, I didn't see that. I keep forgetting how to do this. Hmm. I didn't. See, oh, it's supposed to jump. This how do you is, jump? Is it the button? Just press. Oh yeah. Uh, no, just press. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think you hit. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I'm running out of credit. Uh oh, here he goes. Come on! I don't know how to do that. Oh, hey. This is so hard. Like, no wonder. Oh, no. How many times did you do that today? I don't know. Oh. We're supposed to be the um, the bright light thing. Yeah, it's supposed to tell you where to go. Yeah, it's not telling me. It's a little strange. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to tell me, but I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the co the the signal. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so you're kind of like guessing right now, right? Yeah. Wonder if there's a uh, instruction manual somewhere. There, press down, maybe. Is it down or up? I don't know. We're just learning as we go. Uh, oh. Oh, what? Hello. Down. Right? What? What? Oh, let's see. I can't pass this mode, huh? There you go, Henry. Oh, that, was <laughs> that was the farthest you got. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, Henry, what do you think? It was fun, but very difficult, even though it was an easy mode. <laughs> yeah. Uh, usually, there were visual cues, like it would shine, like a, a quick flash, tell mm -hmm. you to turn right or turn left. So, I think we'll have to <laughs> kind of cheat a little bit and look online and figure out what to press yeah because right now Henry was kind of guessing where to go mm -hmm. he made it pretty far in one stage right? yeah I think it just keep continuously going but yeah like in the arcade you'll have a visual flash of a, a, a cue when to either press left or right but this one you just gotta guess on where to go and stuff like <laughs> that uh, most of the time I'm like where am I what am I supposed to do <laughs> up down left right I don't know so <laughs> yeah you, you must have seen I think Dirk is the name of the character you must have seen him die like a million times yeah. <laughs> So yeah, here it is, the one up family. I got I got the Street Fighter here, got the coin machine here that charges phones, and then now we got Dragon Slayer, so question. I did the one the same one that makes like the four the four foot um arcade games or no, that's a different company. That's a different company, okay. I believe. Yeah. So yeah, I pretty much have a mini arcade here. The only thing missing is mini people. <laughs> <laughs> so uh Heather, any last words? Yes, please don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Ding, ding, ding. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye.